Creations. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I'm here to show you something I've been up to, but first off, I wanted to show you my drop paper and all my scraps, bits and bobs of things that I, you know, when I'm creating, I will often put, you know, my bits and bobs on my drop paper, and then later on I use it for other projects. I'm going to put a link to B Grub. She has a YouTube channel as well as a Facebook group called Face the Scraps. And it's basically a group that she started and um, she shows how she uses her scraps of leftover things from, from other projects. And I'm going to show you what I've done and um, kind of along the lines of Bee Grub, and so that's why I'm asking you to go check out her so channel. What I as often well. do is I'll often use my drop paper and punch out using either my Sizzix Big Shot, which you can see here, the leftover piece here from my Sizzix Big Shot that cut out. This is the the uh, negative space here um, that was left. Okay, and I just went ahead and glued that onto my drop paper for next project. But this time what I did was is I went ahead and I cut my drop paper out to the size of a po you know of a the general size of a postcard which is 4 by 6 inches. And so then what I did was I cut out some a cereal box to the size of a postcard 4 by 6. Okay? And this is what it would look like after I've glued it on. Okay, so this is this is from scrap papers and things left over from other projects. Some of them are Happy Mails pieces that people have sent me from their scrap stuff. So I've used that. And so basically I just go ahead and glue it on. And then I use a, I have a bind it all kind of thing. And I just cut the holes to bind it eventually. Okay, so that's what I did there. Now I'm going to show you my completed book that I did. I, I did that technique, gluing on my draw papers, okay, um, cutting it out to 4 by 6 alright, like this would be, this is a project I'm going to work on and cut out to 4 by 6 but before I do that I often will add more paints and things, so that's why it's here right now. But this is what I did. So this is the one I did, and this is an example of a punched out flower using my drop paper. And you saw the embellishment that I made, the lacy embellishments out of modeling paste. Um, I'm going to say about that too, note to, to about that, is if you're going to use modeling paste, you got to make sure it's the kind that's got like plastics in it. Um, and that it's flexible. I found that the Deco Art Media Line Modeling Paste works best. I'll show you the jar. It's empty because I need to get more. This is what it looks like. And it's, I believe it's like $6.95, something like that. So I would so recommend. I want to, um, regarding the, mo the uh, embellishments, this one turns out to become flexible and not break off. I don't recommend the Blick acrylic. Oh, that's the gel medium. No, that's not the one I wanted to show you. Get it together, Anne. Get it together. The Blick acrylic modeling paste does not, it really doesn't dry. Um, it dries more chalky like. So when you put it in the mold, it, it, it just basically, after it dries, it falls apart. So do not recommend that one to use. Okay, so if it's a chalky-like substance, like I would experiment first on something, okay, that's not important to, to you know, experiment with the consistency of it and the plasticky part of it, because this is more plasticky-like and it's more flexible, so it doesn't disintegrate after, once you remove it from the fondant mold. 
And anyhow, so back to this. Sorry, I was a sidetrack, but I wanted to make that, you know, make it important for that. So I went ahead and used my background, and then I added some about more things to this, and created like a kind of a junk journal using my itty my bits and pieces, bits and bobs of things. So this is a flip through of it, of what I did. So if you can see that. And I got this out of a Trader Joe's. I don't know, many of you may not know what Trader Joe's is. It's a food shop. And they get these advertisements. And they put a lot of really cool, like, vintage-like um, images in their flyers that they have for, like, specials of things they're having, like food specials. And then they add funny little sayings to it. And so I use that out of that. And then... I've used um, some cutouts from swaps I've had gotten, happy mails I've received, and then I added some, you know, quotes and things from magazine cutouts of words. And just kind of did that along with this and just made it using bits and pieces of things left over from other projects and just things from, yeah, left over from swaps as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and just added the extra embellishments and washi tape and things to make it pretty. Add some pretty stuff to it. And this was also from my lacy embellishment fondant mold that I used. And there you go, there's this one. And I've got this one. Another one, this came off of a Trader Joe's bag. And some more of my punch out flowers and some washi tape and the back I used a Sizzix die for my bike and you know just little bits and bobs of pieces of things left over from from swap from you know other projects I've done and I always save my scraps because I know I'm going to use it on something like this or something like this and then I went ahead and just instead of using wire to bind this like you normally would use I strung some pretty string and things through it and some yarn this fuzzy wuzzy kind of cool yarn and then I just tied on some embellishments to it to give it some bling because you know I like my bling so that's one of the things I've done with my itty bit my bits and bobs of things but I've also I often will use um, and I've seen B do this she adds She's done some some tags using her bits and bobs, and I've done this for a long time. I do my own tags and add just leftover pieces from my tags. And then I add, you know, like stencil things and paint and such to them. So these are some of the tags I've done using my bits and bobs of things. You know, and just like magazine cutouts and some of my um, cutouts from things. And here's a little miniature one that I did. Tag. And another one that came off of a um, pattern, clothing pattern. And the back is actually off the back of the envelope, the, the bag that the patterns come in. And so I thought that made a really cool, a very cool um, tag. And then here's another one. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you a flip through of my, a flippity flip through of my bits and bobs book as well as my tags. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you'll go out and check B Grubs. Um, and I hope I'm saying her name correctly. Um, she's from Bee's Atelier and I will post a link to her Facebook group as well as to her YouTube channel down in the description box below. So don't forget to check that out. Thanks again for watching, guys, and toodles. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe, like, share, comment, all that jazz. It's really appreciated, and I shall see you guys next time. Bye. Toodles. Boom, 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 boom.